Princess Kate was shown how close King Charles is to her with this kind gift. The Princess of Wales, who is still undergoing chemotherapy, grinned as she made a stunning comeback to the public eye today. Kate, 42, appeared content and in excellent health as she celebrated the king's formal birthday with her children and senior members of the royal family in her first public appearance in 173 days. And in a charming move, Charles and his adored daughter-in-law stood together as a symbol of strength and solidarity, just as the Prince of Wales did the same for his father the previous year. Since learning of each other's cancer diagnoses at the beginning of the year, Kate and the King have become closer as they help each other get through this trying time. The princess personally informed her father-in-law that she would be attending Trooping the Color, which would be her first public appearance since Christmas. He expressed his happiness at the news. Prior to the king's birthday procession, photos showed the Princess of Wales arriving at Buckingham Palace with her three children, Prince George, age 10, Princess Charlotte, age 9, and Prince Louis, age 6. Less than a day after sharing an incredibly touching message about her ongoing cancer treatment, Kate looked out of the car window all sporting a Philip Tracy hat and a crisp white Jenny Packham dress with black embellishments. They didn't take long to receive thunderous applause and cries from the shoppers at the mall when they emerged from the well-known residence in the glass state coach. While traveling down one of the most well-known thoroughfares in London, Kate showed no signs of nervousness. She smiled and waved to the people gathering and kept an eye on her children. The Princess Royal Colonel Blues and Royals, the Duke of Edinburgh Colonel Scots Guards, and her husband, the Prince of Wales Colonel of the Welsh Guards, were all riding horses as they surrounded her. Due to his illness, the king was unable to participate on horseback and instead traveled in a carriage with the queen. If he was irritated by the move, though, it was not evident as he waved to the throng on his way to Horse Guards Parade. The Duchess of Edinburgh traveled in a coach with her daughter Lady Louise Mountbatten-Windsor and the Duke of Kent, while the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence's carriage preceded their majesties. Charles is the Colonel and Chief of the Household Division's regiments, which include the Life Guards, Blues and Royals as well as all five Foot Guard regiments, Welsh, Scots, Irish, Coldstream, and Grenadier. The mounted band of the Household Cavalry and the massed Foot Guards bands will be present during the official birthday parade. As the guardsmen in their bearskins and scarlet tunics started to be inspected, the king looked down at the troops who aren't just there for ceremonial work, but also fight as soldiers. The queen, dressed in an Anna Valentine coat and pale green silk crude dress, complete with a Philip Tracy hat and her Grenadier Guard's military pin, sat next to him in the carriage. The color was first trooped through the ranks of soldiers during the spectacle, and then the guardsmen marched by the king, first slowly and then quickly. The king saluted as he acknowledged the order to eyes right. Unlike the previous year, Kate and her kids watched the show from the Duke of Wellington's former office rather than joining senior family members on a dace. During the magnificent show of pomp and ceremony, young Louis got up to his typical cheeky antics. He was seen yawning, attempting to open a window, and dancing to the military music. Following the military display, the firm members returned to Buckingham Palace for the renowned balcony appearance. As they watched the RAF's stunning fly past, the royal family presented a united front to the thousands of people waiting outside the steel gates below. For a little while, the rain stopped and blue skies emerged during the performance, which ended with the red arrow sign. Standing shoulder to shoulder, the king and his adored daughter-in-law's intimacy was evident to everybody. Kate was observed bending over to converse with the king, causing them to exchange warm smiles and giggles. I think it's such a nice thing for the Princess of Wales to come and attend today, said Garrison Sergeant Major Stokes, who assisted in organizing trooping. Since it's the closest thing to a national holiday in the United Kingdom, it's probably the only day we see the whole royal family together in public. For that reason, I think the royal family truly appreciates the day. 
In a statement released on Friday, Kate claimed that, despite working from home, she was still not out of the woods yet and that she was making good progress with her therapy. However, she also acknowledged that she occasionally had bad days. The princess, who stated she had been blown away by the kind messages that had made a world of difference to William and me and has helped us both through some of the harder times, was clearly touched by the public support 